Space Conference today. We talked to some experts in the field about what they're studying. We're here celebrating uh, the North American Fuzzy Information Processing Society's conference. It's an annual conference on fuzzy sets, fuzzy systems, and applications that solve problems that matter. I mean, some people are believing that, oh, there's a danger to humanity, AI will take over. I don't think it will take over. In same thing like in education, people were always saying, oh, now with the radio, there will be no need for professors. All you need to do is to switch on the radio and hear the lecture of best professors from Yale, from Harvard. It didn't happen. We have AI, we have great tools like ChatGPT and everything, and we will use them. But of course, these tools need explainability. We have a society based on trust. Can I trust AI, right? Can I expect it to do exactly what I want it to do? No more, no less, right? And so we look into trust, we look into verifiability, and those are among the things that we've been having panel discussions on. The other thing is we are moving towards advanced day mobility. Advanced day mobility is the movement of people and goods in the third dimension. And when we talk about people, we're talking about air taxis, we're talking about air Uber, we're talking about movement of people from uh, the CVG airport downtown Cincinnati by automated, and that's drone technology. We just have scaled that up, and then you can carry passengers. You know, they, there are autonomous cars and taxis in San Francisco carrying passengers. We have to work more towards the safety of those uh, of that capability, but there's a lot of work being done here, sponsored by the Department of Transportation and NASA on advanced air mobility that the University of Cincinnati's team is part of. So do you think one day drones will be carrying people around? Large drones, yes, that can carry people about. They have already demonstrated that in tests. So it's not something fictitious. It's not like the Jetsons. That is completely fictitious. We've been doing that. Now the question is, can you guarantee given malfunctions, given environmental conditions, that doesn't mean you can fly in any weather, like you can't fly an aircraft in any weather. And can we demonstrate that level of safety that we've been promising for the past 50 years and more, right, in the aerospace industry for advanced air mobility? And we believe we'll be able to get there. Aerospace engineering. My son's going to go into